the story of Cinderella. Have you heard the story of the Cinderella nun? The story of Saint Maria Crescentia Hoss, a Bavarian religious who lived in the late 17th, early 18th centuries is pretty much like the story of Cinderella. Given the name Anna at her birth on October 20, 1682, she was the seventh child of eight born to a weaver and his wife. Pope St. John Paul II said, God gave her a beautiful voice. Already as a young lady she could sing a solo part, not to display herself but to sing and to play for Christ the King. However, though she wanted to join the Franciscan Third Order sisters in her hometown, she did not have the necessary dowry to pay the convent to get admitted. She maintained her dream with faith that nothing is impossible to God. Providentially, the town's Protestant mayor purchased a tavern situated next door to the sisters' monastery. He offered to give it to the sisters free of charge, with just one condition that they admit the poor Anna to the convent. The new postulant took the name Maria Crescentia. Mother and others called her a parasite and a beggar because they didn't he believe she did not bring the dowry. They gave her the worst, lowest jobs. Cinderella was treated nicer than her. Mother and Lee's other sisters were always bullying and abusing her in one way or another. However, she accepted the humiliations happily. She was already too advanced in the spiritual life to consider these trials as anything but gifts of God. In a few years time things changed as another sister became superior, and she was much more kind to Sister Crescentia. She made her portress and then, in 1717, novice mistress. In 1741, despite poor health including paralysis the community named her superior. She held this position until her death on Easter Sunday, April 5, 1744. Her beatification process began 31 years after her death. Pope Leo XIII beatified her in 1900, whereas she received canonization from St. John Paul in 2001.